Okay, what we want to do is add up these vectors, and I've got uh, four vectors with bearings, and what I'm going to do is draw them, break them into components, and then add up all the x's, and find the total result in the x direction, add up all the y's, find the total result in the y direction, and then I can put those together and find the final result. So let's get started. Here, the 5 north, I can draw it here. Well, that's going to be easy because it's all in the y direction. The 7, I've got 7 east 30 south. I need to break it into components. So I draw some sort of bearing here, and I draw my vector, and it's 7 east 30 south. So I need to split it into components. I split it along the x-axis and along the y-axis. This is parallel to x, this is parallel to the y. This 7 is to the right and down. I can break it into components in a minute. Then I go to the 4. I need to split this into components. So I draw a bearing like an X and a Y, and it's 4 south 20 west. So it's going to be 4 20 degrees west. So I can split that into components. There's my Y, and there's my X component. I go to the 3. I need to draw that. So I put my bearing here and here, and I'm going north 60 west. So it's that way, it's 3, that's 60, and now I need to split it into its components. And they're going to be up and to the left. So I look at all my components, all my components are along the x-axis or along the y-axis. Now I need to find out their magnitude, how big they are, and then I can add them up. So this is 30 degrees, this is 7, we have a right angle triangle. This side is going to be 7 sine 30, which is going to give us uh, 3.5. This side here is 7 cosine 30. 7 cosine 30 is equal to 6.1. So 6.1 to the right, 3.5 down. Let's look at the 4. The 4, this is going to be 4 cosine 20 because it's the adjacent side. And 4 cosine 20 is 3.8, I've rounded a bit. Uh, this side is going to be 4 sine 20, and 4 sine 20 is equal to 1.4. So this one is 3.8 down, 1.4 to the left. This one here, I've got, this is 3 sine 60, which is going to be 2.6. And this side is 3 cosine 60, which is 1.5. So I've split it up into components. Now what I need to do is I need to put on a sign convention. So what we're going to say is up is positive and to the right is positive for my x and y coordinates. So let's look at the x direction. The resultant in the x direction well, the 5, it doesn't have any x component. Uh, this one, it's 6.1 and it's to the right, so it's positive 6.1. The 1.4 is my x component on this triangle, and it's backwards, it's to the left, so it's minus 1.4. Over here, um, the next one is 2.6 to the left, so that's minus 2.6. And so in the x direction, I end up with positive 2.1. I've added up all my x's. Now I'm going to add up all the y's. In the y direction, well the 5, it's up, so it's going to be positive. For this 7, the uh, y component is down, it's minus 3.5. On this triangle here, the y component is 3.8, it's down, so it's minus 3.8. And over here, the y component is 1.5. It's up, so it's plus 1.5. So my total in that direction is negative 0.8. So my total, when I add up all these vectors, the x part of it adds up to 2.1, and the y part of it adds up to 0.8, so it's going to be down. So what I've got to do is draw these out and solve for the original, for the vector, the result. So let's put a little axis here, and it's the x 
2.1 to the right. The y direction is negative 0 0.8, so it's down 0 0.8. There is the resultant I've been looking for. It's 2.1 to the right, it's 0 0.8 down, and now what I need to do is solve for its magnitude and direction. Well, the magnitude is easy because we got um, the resultant is going to be equal using Pythagoras 2.1 squared plus 0 0.8 squared. Take the square root, and I get the resultant is 2.2. Uh, so there's my result. Now I need this angle. This angle, I can use sine, cos, and tan. I'm going to use tan, so it's the inverse tan of opposite over adjacent. So it's going to be the inverse tan of the opposite, 0 0.8 over the adjacent, which is 2.1. And that angle works out to 20 degrees. So I now know the result is 2.2 long, and then if the units are meters, it would be 2.2 meters. If the units are newtons, it would be 2.2 newtons. And it's at an angle of 20 degrees. So I can write down the resultant uh, over here. The resultant is 2.2, and it's going to be east 20 degrees south. There is my resultant from adding up all these.